caught it, turned it upfield for the first down yardage. Good throw, good catch and run by Jason Reeder. Now the officials step in and take a timeout, and they're looking at that clock. Don't tell me who's going to malfunction on that clock tonight. W.T. Melton's a ref, and he starts the clock, but he won't start. It's malfunctioning, folks. Man, does that hurt. 142, and it won't start. Well, the clock, motion, 50-yard line, take it, run a sweep, cut it in. Moss, at Sellers, he won't get anything. He got hammered back. The clock now is moving. It did not start. It is moving now. Sellers lost a yard back somewhere around the 49 and a half. Riverdale, a half did, a yard. Riverdale did a good job of, of pursuing to the football. They closed off the corner before Jade had any real chance to get started. And folks, Lebanon's offensive line has done a good job tonight. Up front, we got Bob Belcher, Shane Thorne, Scott Workman, Bubba Jennings, Scott Kaiser, Chavez Job, the tight end. This group only has one junior amongst them. That's Bubba Jennings at right guard. Lebanon comes out with a slot lift, tight end motion. There goes Reeder. Reeder, they run across, and that's Sellers, and he hurdles over to the 47. He had to jump over a big tackle, and they trip him up. Sellers went from the 50 all the way to their 46. I think they'll spot it, maybe the 47. They put it on the 47-yard line. We're third down, and we got to go to the 40. We need seven or a long six and a half, and there's 30 seconds to go in the third quarter, and it's six to nothing still, Lebanon's leading. Bruce, a good play has been running Moss at the tight end. Chavez Job on the sweep. We're third down. We picked up a big one while ago. Take the ball, hot pass, looking, looking, throw it up in the air, incomplete. They hit that big 81, Tommy Peebles. He is an excellent football player. He was waiting on a hot pass. Chavez, did, he got hit, but that's not interference because it had been touched before Chavez could reach it. Bo Grissom drops into punt formation. Deep for the Warriors goes Alvin Duke. And once again, the junior, Bo Grissom, being called upon to try to pin the Warriors deep. He will kick from the field stand on his 41. Good snap. They've got a return on. Punt is a beauty. Way back. It will go in the end zone. That's okay, Bo. Bo Grissom just sparrowed the beauty. No time in the third. It's over. we got to go to the fourth. If you can live through it, hang with us. 12 minutes. Bo Grissom with a 47-yard punt ending the third quarter. As we start the fourth quarter, Riverdale will take over on their 20. 12 minutes to go, Lebanon leading 6 to nothing. And the umbrellas go up and the rain begins to get a little harder. We can see the rain now. It's a mist, but it's a little rain. Quarterback on the 20, takes it, runs a dive up the middle, and he got nine. They run a dive to Smith, and he got nine. The rain begins to fall in the fourth quarter. Lebanon six, Riverdale zero. Lebanon and Riverdale have fought tooth and nail all night. The crowd has stayed with us. The rain has held off, and now it begins to come down a little bit. Man, we need a fumble and a touchdown. 11.30, 11.30 to go in a game. Quarterback needs a yard. Carney takes it, runs across, gives it to Smith. Smith got a yard and a half, two yards. He got across the 30 and got to the 32, maybe the 33, and got a first down. First down, Riverdale. Riverdale pretty much dominated the third quarter. Ball's on the 33. Well, we're watching the clock out of our left eye. We're watching the game out of our right. 11-13 in runs. Long time to go. Riverdale on the 33. They're on 33. Couple of wide outs to the left. Run a sweep to McGowan. Marscadelli cuts him in. We hit him. He spins off. We knock him down. Marscadelli and Garrett and a couple of other people. Maybe Ron C. and somebody else down under there. That's Steve Rose. We cut him in. Marscadelli played it well. He got two yards. And it's second and eight. 
Ian Crockett checks out. He'd come in for a couple of plays at the strong side defensive end for Troy Adams. Adams getting a little equipment adjustment. He's back in there at defensive front for Lebanon. We've got Adams, Hasty, Cantrell, Alls, and Moscadelli across the front. Once again, our linebackers, Rose and Sellers. Well, they got two wide outs, wide to the right, I set. Take the ball, run the option, pitch it. Here comes a block. They cut it in. They got a first down. Dukes down the sideline, 45. First down all the way to the 48. No flags. I thought I might have seen a clip. I was hoping. 48-yard line, first down, 47-yard line, they say. Well, Alvin Duke, don't let him get in the clear. First down, Riverdale. He went out of bounds. The clock stops at 10-11. We're hanging to a 6 to nothing lead. Umbrellas are up. Rain is falling. Wide out to the left and one to the right. Carney's junior quarterback. I sit Lebanon and a 50 run the fullback up the middle. Got to the 50 and got three and got second down and seven. He just handed to Smith. Smith's played a lot, Tommy, here in the third quarter. They took Reynolds out, didn't they? Sellers comes out of the football game. In comes Zach Greer. Joel Griffin comes out for Lebanon, returning to the lineup, Ricky Phillips. Sellers looks like he's going to have a little equipment adjustment there on the sideline. Lebanon and Riverdale battling for second or third place and maybe even first if Galton should lose again. I set, flanker right and left, take it, run a draw. Did we hit him? Yes, we did. Man, did we hit him. They was trying to run a draw or to lay count. And down under there was number 45 and 35, Cantrell and C. And they knock him down on the 50, and it's third down, and they got to go to the 43. They need seven. Riverdale has come up with a big play, however. 9-12, and it counts. It's been all night we played. We played what? 12 and 12 and 12 is 36, and three more is 39. Timeout, Riverdale. We need one. In. We got to option. We hit him. He staggers and falls and stumbles for five yards. We hit him back there. That was Cantrell. He hit him on the 50, but this Carney's a great athlete. He looks like he's stretching, maybe pull a little muscle or something. He's got fourth down and two. And if there's ever a big play, folks, this is it. I don't think Riverdale will punt this football. Terry, you've got a stat. Since Mark Medley has come to Lebanon, the Lebanon Blue Devils have carried a lead into the fourth quarter 59 times. 57 out of those 59 times, the Lebanon Blue Devils have won the football game. That's a stat we hope they continue tonight. Lebanon leading six to nothing. Man, don't look for a punt. Don't jump all sides. Snap is back. Punt is a line drive punt. Let it go, Mo. I think that might be a safety. No, it's not. Wow. Tommy. Oh, my Lord. We just Mo, got a break. I don't know what happened. You caught it on the one. Are they going to bring it to the 20? They I, are, Bruce. I hope they are. Mo, I was trying to tell you to let it go. Oh, Riverdale's man. crowd is standing. And I bet Gary Rankin is livid as Mo Tops. Terry, where'd he catch that football? He caught it on the two, and I'm having a hard time recording this because it was not a 45-yard punt. It was a 43-yard punt. We lost two actually on the return, but they're saying it's a touchback. I guess they're saying his momentum carried him <laughs> with the punt into the end zone. I'll take that ruling. I will, too. 8-12 to go. We got a break, I think. I set motion, rain still falls, sweep, sellers, no, Moss outside. Moss got a little running room, and Charles Moss got five or six, something that he really need to get on first down. I think he went out of bounds, which will stop the clock. The ball is on the 26th. Give him six, Tommy, but that's a good first down run. Absolutely, Bruce, and he ran over Carney who doubles as a linebacker on defense. Carney tried to set the corner. Moss just ran over him and bounced outside for a good gain of six. Well, everybody's heart's pounding. It's 8.04. Lebanon's up to the line. I set motion reader. Tripped it to quarterback. Take the ball and they run Cantrell and he pounded up there and got close. Very, very close to the 30. Man, do we need a long drive and kill some clock. Did he get a first down, John Bryan? That second effort, Bruce, once again pays off for the Blue Devils. Tony Cantrell 
picks up the first down with 7.54 and the clock's running. The ball spotted on the 30. 30 yard line knows of it's barely over. 7.45, 7.44 and it runs. Six nothing, Lebanon triplets a quarterback. Rain is still blowing out of the north. Not very hard. Sweep, Sellers, they are coming after him. They'll hit him and spill him for a loss. Back on the 26th, they were expecting that sweep. They knocked Sellers down for a four yard loss. It's second and 14 to go. Is he lost? Well, they're gonna actually put it, I think, on the 27. He lost three, second and 13. Riverdale defensively has got some big guys up front. They go 230, 260, 225, and 210. The smallest man they've got is their nose man, Greg Smith, at 165 pounds. The rain falls, but nobody's leaving this stadium. Six to nothing, less than seven minutes. Reader in motion, triplet's gonna pass. Raiders open, incomplete. The ball may be getting a little slippery. Reader was trying to go out in the flat on the 31. It's third down in 13, 647 to play. Well, you've hung on with us for now, I guess, for 40 minutes. Ball is on the 27-yard line. Third down in 13, we've got to go to the 40. I guess, well, I'm not gonna guess. We may run it, and we may put it in the air. That's about the only two things you can do, any. Six to nothing. Wing left, I set. Take the ball inside, trap Sellers, little daylight. Fault, pounded, got to the 35, didn't get a first down. He got about five or six yards. He was capable. Man, he came close to breaking out of there and getting a first down. He got to the 36. It's fourth and four. The clock says 627. The score, 11 and six, Riverdale zero. But that deep man is Alvin Duke. Bo Grissom into punt one more time for the Blue Devils. Football spotted on the near hash. And once again, Bo's job, kick it down the hash toward the sideline. Don't let Duke catch it. He's kicking into a win. Snap is back. Here comes a rush. Kick is short. That's okay. It rolls across a 40 down to the 36. That's okay, I think. I hope. Ball's on a 36. Well, if you're down there in the stands, you need to stand and roar and yell. It's 554. This could be the final march. Harry, what about Terry, what about that kick? From the 11 and 36, it rolls dead at the Riverdale 36. That's 28 yards on the punt. No return. Riverdale takes over 548 and counting in the ball game. Six to nothing, and the rain is just barely coming now. It's coming in harder. Back to pass, draw up the middle, and we hit him. I think that's that sophomore, and I know it is. Ryan Alls just jolted him, or was it hasty? One or the other. Somebody's hurt for letting it. It was Hasty, I think, that got him. Yes, it was. Kevin Hasty stopped the draw. Looks like, Bruce, it looks like Hasty has got maybe a little uh, Charlie horse or a cramp. Kevin maybe not having the conditioning this week that he normally would have because of that hip injury. And we've got Bryson in the game for him.